Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Japan 101. Today I'm going to tell you all about the most iconic place here in Tokyo, which is Hachiko Statue. This is Hachiko statue. It's a statue of an Akita dog that was born in 1923. To give you guys a little quick run through of the story is that the dog's owner was Professor Ueno and every day uh, Hachiko the dog would sit there and wait at the exact time that his train was coming home from work and uh, they would then go home together. Now unfortunately uh, his owner Professor Ueno passed away one day when he went to work and he never came home. And uh, what that meant was um, Hachiko kept going back every day at the exact time that that train would come in and wait for his owner. And then as the story and everyone found out, uh, people started looking after him and feeding him when he would come and wait for him. Um, but obviously the, the, the reality of the story is he was never going to come home. For nine years and nine months, Hachiko actually waited every day for his owner to come home. Uh, just would, you know, leave his house, go to the station, and wait for his owner to come at that particular time. And then after a period of time of waiting, uh, he would then go back home. The statue was originally erected in 1934, which was a bronze statue. Unfortunately though, uh, when World War II started, they um, tore down the statue and recycled it, melted it down, and turned it into equipment and things that they needed for the war. And then after World War II, they then recreated a brand new statue and put it back in its place. Hachiko is one of the most iconic places in Tokyo because of the story associated with it. It has been in TV shows, animes, and there's even a movie about Hachiko. So it is super popular in Japan. And anyone who is Japanese loves Hachiko and the story with it. Foreigners will come and take photos with Hachiko all the time and in fact people will line up and wait for like 30 minutes sometimes to get a photo when it's a busy day. I'm here today when it's actually not so busy as in it's a weekday and everyone's at work but you can still see that there are a lot of foreigners here taking photos with uh, the Hachiko statue. For people that live in Japan, Hachiko is like a meeting central point in Tokyo. Uh, whenever anyone or a group of friends or uh, you know, let's say you're waiting for a blind date or you're waiting to meet your boyfriend or girlfriend or partner or family or anything. If they're uh, planning to go to dinner in Shibuya or go shopping or see a movie, they'll normally say, hey, let's meet at Hachiko. And uh, you'll find that there'll be always people waiting there, waiting for their friends or family or the people that they're waiting to meet with. And you're always going to see people being like, ah, sashiburi, or like running up to each other and just saying, hey, what's up? Good to see you. You know, let's go get dinner and things like that. So next time you're in Japan and you're in Tokyo, make sure you go to Shibuya and check out the Hachiko statue. You can get there by simply following the Hachiko exit signs while you're in Shibuya station, and then from there you'll be right at Hachiko. After that, you can go and take some photos with the statue, and now that you've actually watched this video, you understand the story behind Hachiko and just why it's such an iconic thing for the Japanese people. Also guys, please make sure that you honor and respect the statue as it is something special that the Japanese people cherish. I would actually say it is an important part of their culture, the story of Hachiko. So please make sure that you're really careful with that and uh, just be really polite to the people around you and things like that. All right guys, that's it, that's my time. Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well guys, I always try to reply to every single comment. So if you have any questions or anything like that about Hachiko, put it in the comment section. As well, if you want to see a future video on something here in Japan, tell me what you want to see and I'll make sure that'll happen. As always guys, ciao mata ne! Pikachu!